Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rank in Google Maps fast. This is the best course if you want to learn how to rank in Google Maps. Watch this. You know, a lot of times when people pass away, you wish you'd have told them that you loved them, right? And, and I, one thing that I don't um, have any regrets is I used to tell my friend Darren how much I loved him. And, uh, and I'm sorry that he's gone, you know, because he was a really dear friend of mine. And, and I hope this uh, gets conveyed in my message when I make these videos is what type of uh, great guy he was. So, you know. I'm glad I got the opportunity to tell him I love him. And uh, my message to you is tell somebody you love them. Hey, guys, I just made the video and I have to actually I had to edit this part. I had to come all the way back to the beginning, move everything over and and edit this part. What I'm saying in this video is what I do. Right. If you're already ranking and you're not doing all the things that I'm talking about, leave it alone. This is just my opinion. And, and like I've said in, in, in many, many videos, I was in Mr. Brown's class in high school, meaning that I didn't go from class to class. The teachers came to me. So you know what you're dealing with here. All right. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an engineer. I'm a regular guy who spent the past 25 years trying to figure this out. I got a great handle on it. All my clients rank from from, you know, all the all the um, all, all the uh, videos that I've watched and. And, and all the experiments that I've made, but just, you know, when it comes down to it at the end, I'm just a regular guy, all right? I'm not a scientist. So if something doesn't sound right and you don't want to do the thing that I'm saying, leave it alone, don't do it. There's no musts here, but I'm guaranteeing you, uh, uh, there's gonna be things in this video that you've never heard before. That that I'm gonna guarantee you. And, and if you'd like to give it a try, give it a try. Some things are risky though. All right, guys, thanks. All right, guys, so let's get started. So just to make sure that we're on the same page, we're all trying to rank right here in the Google three pack. That's this area right here. This is the most clicked for local searches, meaning that if you're looking for a local plumber or you're looking for a local pressure washer or electrician, you get the idea. This is where everybody is clicking. Um, the reason why they're clicking is that they could see how many reviews they have and they could also say, see how far away the businesses from them. So you want to be in this area and this, this is going to change your life. I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. It's going to increase your, your, uh, the amount of leads you have. It, it's going to turn your business around. You need to be, if you're a local business that, um, uh, serves the local community, you need to be in the Google three pack. The problem is that in most cases, there's a hundred or 200 people trying to be here. So you're watching this video and I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to give you everything, no charge. I'm just going to give it to you and then, and, and then you do it. But I, I'm going to go one step at a time. You may have to rewind this and play it back, all right? So we're going to go one step at a time just to make sure that we're all on the same page. And I'm going to give you gold on the next step. It's something that I've never spoke about. All right, guys. So at this point, I assume you already have a uh, website and you have a Google business profile. If you don't, that's okay. This, vi this video is still very valuable to you. You'll know what to do. I assume at this point, you did not register your domain name at Google. You didn't use Google to buy your do domain name. You probably purchased it at GoDaddy or, or, or Namecheap or, or Bulk Register, one of these places. I want you to take your domain name and I want you to bring it over to Google. I want Google to uh, be the registrar of your domain name, all right? I want them to hold it. Now, it's really important in your domain name, you want to make sure that wherever you registered your, your, your um, Google business profile, for example, uh, 1010 Main Street, I use that example a lot. You registered it at 1010 Main Street. Make sure the address in your who is, where you registered your domain name, make sure that address is the same address that you registered your Google business profile. OK, that's that's important. It's a ra ranking factor. It's not a huge ranking factor, but it's a ranking factor. You want to make sure that you have your address at your Google business profile is the same. Uh, it's the same address. OK, step two, 
you want to get your hosting. You may be hosted at, um, let's say you're hosted at GoDaddy, you're hosted at uh, Bluehost, all great hosting companies. But what I'd like is I'd like Google to host your domain, uh, your website. So you're going to have to take your website. It's housed on a server right now. Let's just say, for argument's sake, because everybody knows GoDaddy, take it from GoDaddy. And instead of paying the $12 at GoDaddy, pay the $12 over at Google. I don't know how much hosting is. It's around that. It shouldn't be much more than that. But you want Google to host your domain name. Now, I mean, your, your website and your domain name. And you may be saying to yourself, uh, where are we going with this? There's a reason. The third thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take just $100 and I'd like you to just do some AdWords for $100. Now, what is this establishing? I tell you, it's establishing contact because there's going to be a time where you put in for your Google business profile and it gets automatically rejected. Or you have your Google business profile and it gets suspended for no reason. You've already established contact over at Google because you have a domain name. You have somebody you spoke to over there and you have somebody that you spoke to for hosting. Right. And somebody you spoke to for AdWords. A lot of times AdWords, they give you they give you an associate. Right. So just go in there and just uh, give them a call and say, hey, uh, I don't understand what's going on either. I'm not showing up in the three pack or my 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 Google business profile. They said it was suspended or something. You know, what do I need to do? At least you have a contact. That is a big problem because a lot of times people don't even have uh, uh, anyone to call. You're, you're going to have at least three people. You can have somebody over at the domain name side, the, the hosting side, and over at the AdWords side. So you got three, you got three people that could help you over at Google. So that's real important. Get everything and transfer it over to Google. That's step one. All right, guys. So step two is really important. It's, it's the most important ranking factor that you have the correct uh, uh, GMB, a uh, Google business profile category. What do I mean by that? You put your main keyword in. So, for example, if you're a um, if you're a DUI lawyer, you put DUI lawyer. If you're a pressure washer, you put in, uh, you know, or power washer, you put power washer near me. Let's just say that's the example I'm using today. So I put in power washing near me and I noticed right here. See right here next to the reviews, it has the main GMB category, which is uh, pressure washing service. That is the cat. That is the category that you should be using. Let's say I did a DUI lawyer. I think it's criminal attorney, DUI lawyer. Let's see. Criminal justice attorney. That's the main category. Now, this person's ranking with attorney, and we'll go over that in a little while. But you want the main category. It's the most important ranking factor. Uh, how you get it is just go to your Google business profile, just put in your domain name uh, or your brand rather. My brand is Mindsaw. You want to put that, I just put it into Google. If it's the email address you use to register your Google business profile, this portion will show up right here. Okay. What you want to do is just click edit profile. And when you click edit profile, you see where it says business category, the primary uh, a category you want to make sure is the the category that you're trying to rank for the key the main keyword you're trying to rank for now you you'll do other um, GMB category so you put in other keywords and you'll see the other categories that are showing up for those you don't want to put really more than five it's been my experience that it starts to water down so I just take the top five and and that's good okay so Make sure you pick the, the right GMB category. The way to do it, once again, is just put in your main keyword and right next to the reviews, you'll see right here, you'll see the category. If, um, like you see, two people have this one and one has the other one, you're, you're unsure, just go to uh, more businesses and see what everybody else is putting down. You'll notice, see everybody else is putting criminal justice attorney. Right. All right, guys, I need your comment for this one. Please put a comment in the, in the in, in below and don't spare me if you don't like the idea. But I'm going to tell you it works, right? I'm here to tell you what it works, but I'm also here to tell you what the risks are. The third most important ranking factor is having the keyword and the city in your Google business profile name. 
So what do I mean by that? I have the example as DUI lawyer. And you'll notice there's uh, Brugetti Law, there's Kilfin Law, and Roger Futterman Law, right? But I am, well, I'll pick somebody. I'm Frank uh, D. Casola. I'm Frank D. Casola, right? I want to rank for DUI Law. I'm telling you that if you change your GMB, now listen to me. I notice people, there's people going crazy. They're screaming at, they're screaming, calm down, calm down. I know you're screaming at the, at, at the screen. All me names. I'm just telling you that if you change it to uh, Charles D. Casola, DUI lawyer, you're going to be here. You're going to be in the Google three pack. Now, here's the downside, right? Here's the downside. Here's the downside. There's a downside. Downside is there's a very good, um, there's a good chance. I, I'm sorry I said very good. There's a good chance you'll be suspended. Not always if you want to take the risk, right? The only thing that I would say is make sure if you're going to change your Google business profile name and you're going to add a keyword in a city and or a city in to your Google business profile name, a couple of things. Make sure you, you keep the CID number. Each Google business profile has like a social security number, right? There's plenty of videos on how to find your CID number. Right. I don't want this to be a two hour video. Right. Make sure you copy your CID number. And here's the reason. When you change it, you may lose all your reviews. That was a bug going on a while ago. And Google couldn't figure out how to get the reviews with this new CID number. Right. Because you changed your Google business profile. They gave you a new CID number and you lost all your reviews. You didn't get suspended. You just lost all your reviews. Now, like I said, it is a big risk. It's a risk that I would take if I'm just starting. Right. Not within the first two weeks. I'm saying within the first six months, first two weeks, don't touch your Google business profile. Once you have it set up, do not touch it. Don't touch your Google business profile. This is a ranking factor. I didn't make it up. I'm saying that if you're brand new, use the keyword. Make sure your business is, uh, you know, Thai food, St. Petersburg, Florida, right? That's the name of your restaurant. Don't call it A&B food, for example, uh, A&B Asian food or something like that. Call it, call it Thai food, the best Thai food, uh, St. Petersburg, or Thai food near me, St. Petersburg, Right. That has to be your business name. But uh, if you're already established like these lawyers, right, I'm not saying you should take the chance. I'm just saying that's how it works. I didn't make the rules here. I don't make the rules. Right. I'm just telling you what the rules are. What I would do if it was my first six months, I'm rolling the dice. <laughs> I'm doing it. Right. I'm doing it because I, I got a nasty um, uh, uh, streak to win. Right. I want to win at all costs. That's me. I'm not saying you should do it. You know the good and the bad, right? Make sure you get you. If you're going to do it, make sure you have your CID number uh, because at least you have something to go back to Google and say, hey, I lost my reviews for some reason. Here's my CID number. I'm not saying it's going to happen. There's a slight chance it may happen, but I got to let you know, right? Got to let you know the good. I got to let you know the bad. All right, guys. So I've been sitting in the same seat for the past four hours. I haven't gotten up putting this video together for you. I know it seems easy, but all the I do all the editing. I'm a one-man show in regards to my videos. So um, if you enjoy this video, would you please you know, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. If there's anybody that um, you know, it would really help if you shared it on your social media. If you put it out on your social media, if you're part of any groups, this may help you, you know, fellow, you know, uh, fellow people in your groups as well. Uh, you know, no pressure to do that. But if if you're part of a group and, and and people are looking to rank in the Google Three Pack, I think this will this will help people out. So please subscribe to my channel and and like it. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, guys. So step four. Step four is proximity, physical address, and spam. Let's talk about these three things. So we're going to talk about proximity. So proximity. What I mean is that let's say you were located here at Blast MMA. And you did a search from Tampa Bay Laser. And that's where you did your search from. And you were looking for an MMA club. Last MMA is going should show up in the Google three pack because they're closest. They're the closest MMA club to your 
um, to your search. However, there are ways of breaking proximity, right, and showing that not only is Blast, because it, it is a Google 3-pack, right? So Blast will, sh will and should be there, but there's two other choices. And we could kind of, i uh, got to be careful what I say here. Uh, we could show Google that while we're not the closest, we're the best. How's that? All right, that's a nice way of saying it. We're, we're not necessarily the closest, but we're the best, and it's worth it to drive an extra three to five minutes or 10 minutes away to come to our club. So, you know, please, uh, uh, you know, you know, please come to our club, right? So, so proximity. Now, physical address is, let's say that this Blast MMA has a physical address, as you could see right here, right? But let's just say that Blast MMA came to your house. They didn't have a physical address. The physical address is always going to outrank the service area business. And I know sometimes there's debate on it, but it's been pretty much um, pretty much proven that uh, uh, physical addresses beat service area business. So if you're not listing your address and you're working from home, um, you know, just know that physical addresses just just have it beat in 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 priority. Now, the last thing that I'm going to say, and let me show you what I mean. This is something I've never done. While I'm getting this ready, I was a I was a correction officer on Rikers Island for 20 years, and there was a saying, "Snitches get stitches." And I always kind of kept to that. I don't have any stitches. Right. So. So let's just say that I was. Now, uh, this is called reporting spam listings, and there's a good and a bad to that to this as well. Let's say I am Herbert Law Group. Right. And I look up on the top and I'm like, hmm, this Borghetti doesn't. And, and I'm not saying it's not real. You know, it doesn't have an office. I can't see an office here. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to report them. I'm going to say they're not real, right? In, in the pressure washing industry, garage doors, locksmiths, there's a lot of fake listings, right? So you could go in and report them. You could go in and report and say that they're not, you know, they're not a real listing. Here's the thing, though. Uh, well, here's two things. First of all, Google Google puts you on the snitch list, right? Because they're like, he, this, this guy reported 100 businesses. So... You know, you can't do it too often, right? You can't go and report 100 businesses a day or a month or something like that because they'll put you on the snitch list and Google will wind up giving you stitches, right? So that's that's the first thing. The second thing is I truly believe in karma, right? Man, you do good things to good people. You can do good things. Good things will come to you, right? You start doing that to people. I don't know. That crap comes back to you, man. If not this way, some other way. So I let people be, man. You know, I let people be in regards to they're trying to do their thing. I, I, I'll beat them. I'll beat them naturally. Right. I don't have to report them. Uh, but it is a ranking factor. Right. If you could dock two or three people out of the way, it makes it two or three people easier to rank. OK, so that's something to keep in mind. Remember, proximity, how far away the person is searching to find you. If you have a physical address or a, a service area business where you don't show your address, right? And then last one, snitches get stitches, the spam one, where you go reporting everybody, tattletale. All right, guys, so the next thing is citations. Citations are just your name, address, and phone number, which is also known as NAP. And that NAP, name, address, and phone number, is located in directories. Yellow Book is a directory. Uh, uh, Better Business Bureau is a, is a directory, right? So I'm going to show you the best way to do your citations. This is something that works very well for me. Uh, don't go crazy with citations. Years ago when I started uh, trying to list my business in the, actually it was the 7-pack back in 2000, 2012. It was the Google 7-pack. Um, I purchased a bunch of citations, and I also fixed a bunch of citations that were incorrect. The address was incorrect. And magically, by uh, in two days, my business showed up in the Google 3-pack. 
right? So these days, they're not as important, but they are important. And, and they're important because if Google takes down your, your listing, one of the things they're looking for are citations. But let me show you the right citation. So I'm going to put the link in the description below. In fact, anything I spoke about, uh, the link is in the description below. So let's just say that you are a, uh, all right, right here, you're an accountant. You're going to click accounting, and these are the top citations for accounting. Yellow Pages, Manta, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Indeed, right? You need to get all these citations. You need to get, you need to get your name, address, and phone number on all these sites. This is a, each site has a place for you to register. Now, once you get these 10, what I'd like you to do, let, let, let's see, there's a concept that I'm trying to explain here. So the Yellow Pages, the domain authority for the Yellow Pages website is like a 96 or a 95, right? Same thing with Manta and Yelp. They're in the high 90s. But, but Yelp.com slash Mindsaw, the domain authority is probably two or three, right? So what we want to do is a couple of things. First of all, on your website, you want a section on your website on the bottom in the footer called Find Us on the Web. And you want to take all these directories, these 10 directories, plus the other ones that you have, and just add Find Us on the Web and just paste those links on that page, on the Find Us on the Web page. It's going to do two things. It's going to help index those links, meaning that Google will be able to see them. And because you're having a backlink from your website that may have authority, it's going to pass the authority on to Yelp.com slash Mindsaw, uh, Yellowpages.com slash Mindsaw. I'm using Mindsaw as your business name, right? So it brings up the authority of, of that. The next thing you want to do is you want to take all those links and create a YouTube video and just talk about your town and what you do. And in the description, take all those links and say, find us on the web. Google loves Google. YouTube is a Google product. And um, even, those, even though those are no follow links, they will have some value, right? So you want to do that. You want to bring up the domain authority. It's not, you don't necessarily need 300 uh, uh, citations or, or directories, right? You don't need necessarily need 300, but I would get about 50, especially the ones that you need to be in, and you can find them right over at Moz. I'll put the link in the description below. Get those 10 and pump those up. Now, a way of pumping those up is just to go over to Fiverr. And you remember like 10 years ago, you used to buy links for your website. I hope nobody's doing that anymore. Don't buy them directly for your website. But you could go over to Fiverr and you could take those links, like backlinks. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Backlinks. Right? You could take those backlinks. You find somebody to do backlinks. All right? So I get somebody like this right here. And I would get a uh, have them do my backlinks. And I would point them all to my Manta page, my my Yelp page, my Yellow Pages page. Who cares? I'd buy, I'd buy a gig for each one of those, right? And I'm bringing up the authority without harming my website. Now, another thing that this is going to do is in the organic section, if you type in, for example, Staten Island Website Designer, uh, that was something that I was really trying to do uh, 10, 15 years ago. All these pages were showing up because I powered up all my pages, my Facebook page, my LinkedIn page, my my Yelp page, all those pages were showing up in the um, in the organic search because they had so much domain authority, right? So this won't work for the Google Three Pack, but in regards to the organic section, you may start to see a couple of of your listings start to pop inside the organic section. I said in the beginning, you're going to hear stuff that you haven't heard in a long time. I had this uh, sub say, hey, man, you're always talking about the same thing. I was like, well, these are the things that work, right? But then I started thinking about it a little bit. I was like, you know, I do other things also. I do other things. So these are some of the other things I do. Uh, the other thing, everyone should have a Better Business Bureau 
You need a better, better Business Bureau link. Everyone should have it. I don't care what your industry is. Just come right over here to this hamburger bar. Scroll down to where it says register your business, right? And then just click that and register your business. So you want to do that. I, throw, I would throw some links at this also. The next thing, I'm going to say a bad word. I'm going to say it. Get the kids out of the room. Yelp. Right. I know people have problems with Yelp because of the way they do reviews. It wouldn't be a bad idea, especially as a new business, to pay the twelve dollars a month. It shows Google that you're a real business. OK, and stop it after three months or something like that. Right. But that's not a bad idea uh, uh, to do that. It's not a bad idea to do that if you want to, right? It just It's just another factor showing that you're a paying business. And if you were a fake business, why would you pay Yelp? And why would you give the $100 to the, uh, uh, to the pay-per-click and that type of stuff, right? And have a better business bureau link as well, right? So I hope those tips helped you. I got something next for reviews. All right, guys. So before you even get any Google reviews, what you want to do is get some Facebook reviews. You may be saying, Facebook, why do I got to get Facebook reviews? Look, this whole uh, uh, chat GPT that, that is owned by Bing it is going to be a big thing. And, and Google is looking at it, right? Because they have their own system, BARD, and that could be a subject for another video. They have their own AI called BARD. That's Google's um, AI program. But... I'm going to show you something. So if I say a uh, plumber near me, I already, I already did that, right? So I did plumber near me. Let me show you something. If you notice the, um, the reviews, most of the reviews are coming through from Facebook. This one's coming through from Home Advisor, but most of them come through Facebook. Now, you, you know, if you're a um, um, heating AC, right, any kind of service type business, yes, get some home advisor reviews as well. Guys, whatever you do, don't buy Google reviews. Please don't buy Google reviews. You're going to get whacked. They're going to take you off. Don't buy Google reviews. All right. So you'll notice that most of them are Facebook. But look at over here, Judy's book and home advisor. Right. But most of them you'll notice are Facebook. So get these reviews. Another thing, guys, and I learned this off a fella. Check out his channel. The guy's name is Brock Misner. Brock Misner. Uh, yeah, Brock Misner is, is his name. Go check out his channel. But if you use emojis, if you use emojis, watch this, guys. Google could read the emoji, right? Google could read the emoji. So I'm going to go over to food, and I'm going to get some food emojis. Oh, wait, where are my uh, – those are grapes. Where are my blue – you know what? Here's a little known fact about me. Do you know I love blueberries? You didn't know that, right? Here they are. Oh, my God. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love blueberries. I eat about a pound of blueberries a day. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to show you something about, I'm going to show you something about blueberries. If I put this blueberry symbol in here, right? Whoops. See, it knows that it's blueberries. So like if you put UPS truck, if there's a if there's an emoji, a UPS truck, or if you have a have a review and you put some smiley faces in the review, Google knows that that, that you're happy with the service. It could read emojis. What does blueberry mean sexually? I don't have to check that out. Yeah. I, I just love blueberries. I don't know. Blueberries. What could I tell you? Um, all right. What else is I going to say here? What was I going to say about reviews? Get... 
get as many reviews in your area code as possible. And this is where I come to. Um, you got to get this thing, guys. You got to get this uh, local Falcon. I have a I I signed up to be a um, uh, an affiliate. This is my first affiliate. It's only because I'm using the thing and you can't do it without. Right. So without me making more graphics here, if you, this is called a grid program, you can't do all the things I'm saying without a grid program. Uh, it was once explained to me by somebody much smarter to me. He said, hey, look, she said, look, you used to do bodybuilding. How are you doing bodybuilding without looking in the mirror? Right. You would look in the mirror and say, OK, I need more shoulders. I need more legs. Uh, I, I need a bigger chest. Whatever you need to do, you need a mirror to judge you. Well, this is this is an SEO mirror, right? This is an SEO mirror. It shows you where you're ranking in your area. So if you notice in the upper right hand corner over here, these are red. You're not in the Google three pack. This may be a five mile radius, let's just say probably a one mile radius, but whatever, Let for this example, we'll say it's a couple of mile radius and you're not ranking here. You want to try to get in this area code, you want to try to get people standing at the Starbucks, the Dunkin Donuts, the Target, let's just say, right, and giving reviews from this area. That's why it doesn't make any sense to get reviews from California or get reviews from Alaska if you're not located in Alaska. You need to get the reviews from your zip code that's the only way that it's going to help you in the rankings right and these are google reviews i'm talking about right so you want to get those reviews here's another thing uh it's not a bad idea every once in a while if you have a Sp somebody who speaks spanish or russian to write the review first in uh in in in, in spanish or russian and then translate it in english You'll get you'll get double the uh, you know you're saying the keywords twice and and it's uh, it's a good thing to do every once in a while every 50 reviews let's just say not don't do that every you know don't do that every review but it's a good idea to do every once in a while now remember something guys if you're in this red area and you're trying to rank for air condition repair let's just say I'm using it to, a million different examples. If uh, you're trying to rank for air condition repair, the person has to be standing at that location saying or around this location, right? Saying that they did air, that you did air condition repair or you trained them in MMA, whatever the keyword that you're trying to rank for. They need to say the keyword. They need to use the city name. If they're located next to, looks like William Scott Park, Right. They need they should try to somehow fit that in that they're by William Scott Park. And and the people came and trained me in MMA. It was such a beautiful day. We walked over to uh, William M. Scott, William L. Scott, Scott Park. My eyes are good. I could see that. And I did. Uh, and we did MMA in, in that park. You understand? Like so if you could use something like that, because there's no other William L. Scott Park. Well, there shouldn't be right in the United States. That's that's the one. So Google recognizes it as that place. Right. Uh, you want to say the name of the company. You want to say who helped you. Right. Dave helped me do MMA. And. Uh, and that's it. And that's it. Uh, what else is I going to say about reviews? Don't buy reviews. Don't go on any of these wacky websites or get emails. Uh, I'll buy I'll send you, don't do it. You're going to get whacked. Google's going to take you off. Don't do it. Don't do it. Get your reviews from your clients in this area. Now, uh, many clients say to me, they say, well, or, or people that I, that I speak to, they're not clients yet, but they speak to me. I say, well, you know, it's very hard to get. I had a, a fellow who does reverse mortgages. You know, uh, how do I get, these people are older. How am I going to do that? Well, the first thing you do is you, you send them the link. Because even older people have a cell phone. So send them the link. They have to click the link and you could help them. Right, right. The name of my business is ABC Air Condition. Oh, okay. Right, right. ABC Air Condition. Uh, you're located next to William L. Park and, you know, help them out with that. But you have to do it while they're there. <laughs> you can't say, please leave me a review and drive away. They're not going to know how to do it. And second of all, even if you give them the link and drive away, 
they're going to move on to something else. They have to do it while they're there. I always suggest to get a couple of $5 gift certificate cards over at Starbucks or, or Dunkin' Donuts. Give them a gift certificate card in the beginning. Say, if you wouldn't mind, if we do a good job, would you please leave us a five-star review? You're not allowed to say five-star, by the way. Uh, you know, you're not allowed to say what type of review, but, you know, five-star, you know what I mean? And then uh, have them leave you a review, add your business name, add your... Uh, and the person that they spoke with, the service that they that they that that you that you did for them, right? Where they're located, all that type of stuff. Really be uh, detailed in the review. As if read some. You want to know how to do a review? Read some bad reviews. Watch how detailed people are in regards to the bad reviews. Everything is detailed out. Do the same thing for your good reviews. Do them in Spanish. Add emojis, right? Every once in a while, do that. All right, guys, that, that's that's my story on reviews. All right, guys, so let's go over the website. You know, we spoke about reviews and we spoke about citations and we spoke about, um, you know, all the other things that have to do with ranking your website. Well, one of the other important factors is your website and the content that you have on your website. So let's kind of go over the homepage because I'm kind of a stickler for the homepage. I believe this is the most perfect homepage ever created by man. You may say there's nothing special about it, but it's kind of like looking at a painting and looking at it and saying eh, it's not really a big deal. But then when people, you know, it, or, or it's like it's like uh, drinking whiskey, right? You take a sip of it and you're like, oh, I never had this before. It doesn't taste good. When somebody teaches you how to taste it. Right. Then you're like, oh, OK, I could taste I could taste that. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, right, you like it. So I got to do the same thing with you right now. I got to show you the website. I got to show you why this is the most perfect website ever created by man. All right. You'll notice that the left hand side the logo is nice and big. Google recognizes brands. If you don't have a logo, you need one. Right. Underneath, I like to put the address. Now, this client just moved this week. They were rocking their rankings. I mean, they were killing it. They were killing their rankings, and now they moved. So I have to change all the citations. I have to change the Google Business Profile uh, so they don't lose their reviews. We were going to set up a second one, but we're you know the better thing to do is just to move it. And uh, yeah, so they, they may drop in the rankings for a little while, but this this business did really well. So anyway, that's the logo. Uh, the everything on the homepage should be about the GMB category, which is divorce lawyer, and the area that they're located in, which is Staten Island. Now, where they were located, right, where they were located on Staten Island, they were right next to Manhattan. So they were getting business from Manhattan and they weren't far from Brooklyn. So, man, now they're moving to like the center of Staten Island uh which is which is good in a way to get business on staten island but it's going to be tough to get that manhattan and brooklyn uh you know get those get those uh rankings there okay so you'll notice that there's a nice big call us with the phone number and the credit cards that they take this is the reason why it's perfect You'll notice also here, it says call us. There's not 10 signals. There's not, you know, visit us on Facebook, uh, uh, email us, fill out the form. This client wants phone calls, right? This client wants phone calls. So the only signal is to call. See, it looks a lot better now. Now it doesn't look so, now it doesn't look so uh, plain, right? Okay, and we're going to go into that. So everything on the homepage is going to be about divorce lawyer and the services that a divorce lawyer provides and the area that they're located. I prefer, you know, if you're located on Staten Island and you're located in uh, where I grew up, Graniteville, Staten Island, let's just say, uh, you know, I would say Graniteville, Staten Island or Westerly, Staten Island, I would say, you know, include those areas, right, on the, on the homepage. All right. So if you notice right here, the first set of links are the GMB categories. Remember when we spoke earlier about the GMB categories? Every time you create a GMB category, you need a page on your website for that GMB category. Whatever is on your, on your GMB, I'm sorry, your Google business profile 
needs to be mirrored on your website. So if you have your second GMB category is your first link. Right, so family attorney is their second GMB category. So that's their first link. Mediation service is their third GMB category. Remember something, divorce lawyer was their first GMB category. So the second one is family attorney. Now you get it, right? Okay. And so on and so on, right? Okay. Now we have your keyword pages. These are all the keyword pages. See that? These are all the keyword pages. And then these are the areas that they serve. After these three links, I don't care what you put, put FAQs, put attorneys, put blog. Con oh, also, please have a contact us page on your website. It always should be the last link. Not request a quote. Some people aren't ready to request a quote. They just want to ask a question. Have a contact us page. Don't have a million other signals. Now, if you are trying to rank in the Google three pack, and since I'm changing the industry so many times to, to divorce attorneys, right? Since we're changed, since we're, using divorce attorneys, um, we're going to use our friend ChatGPT to help us. Now, this is something that I've never spoken about before. Now, I want you to understand that uh, if you're trying to rank in the Google 3-pack, your, your on-page optimization – you know, when I, when I speak about these things, I, 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 I'm just – picturing the person sitting there going, ah, he's wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong. You know what I mean? Like another SEO expert. And I shouldn't make my videos for that person. I should make it for the everyday person, right? You're the plumber, you're the uh, you're the MMA guy, or you're the uh, lawyer, or whatever you are, right? When you're creating content, to rank in the Google three pack, you don't have to go crazy with on page optimization, right? When you're trying to rank organically, that's a different situation. But if you're trying to rank in the Google three pack, you just need to be on target and your, your content has to make sense. Okay. So you don't have to fully go crazy optimizing it with, with all kinds of crazy programs. Okay. So, Here's what we do. Like I said, I rank all my all my clients' websites. I write what are the 10 what are the 10 most frequent questions? Whoops, sorry about that. Questions people ask when filing for a divorce. And then what ChatGPT will do is they will is they will uh Ask the questions. Now, what you need to do on your divorce page, right, is go over to ChatGPT and do one question at a time. So what I'm going to do is, how do I start the divorce process? Please write 200 in, in, in under 250 words. Now. You need to look at this, right? Especially if you're a lawyer. You need to look at this just to make sure that this is all right. And here's my response. The process for filing divorce is as, is as follows. And I would take this and I would take a look at it, make sure it's good, take some words out, put some words in. And this would be my section on the divorce page for, you know, for content that I want to write. Then the next thing that I would do is take the second question. How long will divorce process take? And I'd ask it to write, you know, 200 words, let's just say. And this is where you get all your content from. You can get all your content here from, from uh, ChatGPT. And some people may say, well, Google doesn't like AI writers and I'm ranking all my clients. Okay. So... Another thing that you'd want to do is you want to strengthen up each one of the pages. So, for example, if you're trying to 
strengthen up, for example, uh, uh, child visitation, right? I would create 10 sub pages linking to the child visitation. There are different questions that people have. And then I would link and I would write like, you know, a thousand words on child visitation, like a question that somebody has, and then link it to the child visitation. You have to show Google, even if nobody reads this, on your blog, let's just say, right? Create, you know, 10 different articles about child visitation and link them to this page. You want to show Google that you're the expert in this area. I always think of it like this. There's two hardware stores, right? There's like Sam's Neighborhood Hardware Store that, you know, used to be a sun tanning place, uh, suntan bed place, right? So it's, it's very small. And then there's Home Depot. We all want to support the little guy, but if you really need a tool and you only have, you know, you know, 15 minutes to run out and get it, you're going to Home Depot because you know they have the tool, right? You know that they're, the, that they're going to have what you need. Well, it's probably a crappy example, but you get the idea, right? You want to make sure that you show Google that you're the expert on that, a that area. One page of content or 20 words on a page isn't enough to show Google that you're the... You're the, the expert on that uh, subject. Now, I get a lot of clients say, or people that are jumping on say, well, nobody reads that. It's not for you. It's not for your customer. And just because you don't read it doesn't mean that people won't read it. If you're going through a divorce, you're going to read it. If it's something important to you, you're going to read that, right? So it's important to have a lot of, of good, relevant content, uh, to have video on your page. I think that's a good idea, right? Uh, to have pictures on your page that represent what you're what uh, what you're trying to speak about, graphs and charts, all that stuff is really really good to have. The content you could get from Chat GPT, and uh, they have different programs where you could run it through the filter to you know to add in more keywords. But you don't have to go crazy with it, right? You don't have to go crazy. Just show Google that you're the expert on that on that subject. So that's the thing that I wanted to talk about in regards to uh, website design. Now, in regards to website design, set it up like this. Don't give a million different sig signals. Call us up on the top, credit cards, repeat the signal on the bottom, and then you have the rest of the page. Right? All right, guys. Okay, guys, and lastly, if you hung around this, this long, right? The last signal is customer signals, right? That is the most important. Probably out of everything, this is the most important thing because let's face it, you could manipulate your website, right? You could manipulate your website, but it's hard to manipulate reviews. It's hard to re, uh, manipulate uh, click-through, and it's hard to manipulate driving directions for the average person. There are Ninjas out there that know how to do that, right? So let me just show you, let me just show you something right here. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, is uh, CTR, which is click-through rate. You'll notice that if you type in divorce lawyer, right, you get a bunch of, uh, you get a bunch of different uh, choices. This is, this was originally called Google Caffeine, right? So um, let's just say you had 100 people all type in divorce lawyer Soren Law. And over the next month or two, everybody just typed in divorce lawyer Soren Law. After a while, that would be one of the choices here in, in, um, in, in, in uh, CTR in, in the click-through rate, okay? So that's one thing. The other thing is when somebody types in divorce lawyer and they scroll down and they click your business, that's a good signal to Google, especially if they don't click any other businesses. So that's called click through rate. And there's a lot of people uh, on, on uh, YouTube. If you want to find out more about click through rate, there's a lot of guys on, on and girls on uh, women on uh, on uh YouTube that you can find out through click-through rate. So that's that's one signal. The next signal is reviews. 
right? So reviews, getting reviews in your area is a very, very big signal. And I spoke to you about that earlier, saying that you need to use the business name and where they're from and the service that they used, right? You can write them in Spanish and then, oh, and then again in English. Uh, the translation, you can use emojis. Reviews are really, really important. Like I said before, don't buy, don't, uh, don't buy reviews. The other thing is driving directions. So, for example, if you placed an ad on Craigslist and you said, hey, um, come to my address, 1010 Main Street, because we're having a, uh, a, a, winter, clo a winter coat, uh, 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 you know, for the homeless, drop off a, winter, a charity for the homeless, right? So people would have to use their, their directions and type in your address and then drive to your location. So that's another signal. Right. And that's another thing that you could do. It helps the community out is to hold some type of event and have people drive to that location. If you're a if you have a location, right, if you have a location, if you have a service service area business, that'll be a little little tougher. But Google does have your address, even if they're, even if you are a service area business. So read between the lines. So those are the three things you want. Click through rate. You want driving directions and reviews. These are three things that you need to you need to really focus on in regards to uh, user signals. All right, guys. So I hope this lesson helped. I, ha I had a subscriber uh, give me a text and and I spoke to him for a little while. And one of the things that he said was it was really funny. Is uh, somehow during the conversation he said, "Man, you're doing exactly what I want to do." You know, and and uh, and I thought about that a little while and he's catching me at the end or, or not in the beginning. When I first started this, I was awful. And some people may say, well, you're still awful. And I, and I may be. You're right. Uh, I'm not a broadcast. I didn't go to broadcast school. I went to Best Buy and, or, or Amazon. And I bought a microphone and a, <clears throat> excuse me, and a camera. And here I am. So, uh, you know, I'm self-taught. However, there are some people that like what I'm doing and to some people I'm helpful. And and uh, the point that I'm trying to say is that, you know, he's seeing me five, six years into my journey. My first hundred videos, I, I would get so nervous that I couldn't get through my video. I would always watch videos and see how pe and see people do a video for like 16 minutes. And I'm like, how do you talk for 16 minutes without somebody speaking back to you like that. I couldn't understand that because in, in real life, I'm not really a very, very big talk. I mean, you could get me going on certain subjects, but uh, in the mo most, I'm not going to chew your ear off about anything. You know, I'm not, I'm not that type of guy. You talk to me about business or bodybuilding or uh, I guess that's just about it. Uh, business and bodybuilding, I guess music, music, you get me going on music. Uh, I also do a, wonderful impersonation of my mother I could speak I could speak as her for about an hour uh, but other than that I, I'm not a big I'm not a big talker so I was I was always like how do you get how do you get somebody you know how do you talk for 16 minutes without having anybody talk back to you and uh, I guess the only thing that I could say is it's just practice it's practice nothing grew my business bigger than YouTube because of uh, People were able to build a, a relationship with me. I didn't necessarily have that relationship with with them, right? But they built a relationship. Like, like, look, you learned today that I love blueberry, blueberries. How would you know that if you didn't want? I would never put that on my website. I happened to say that during during the video today. I also made a little joke about that, right? So, you know, uh, 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 you got to learn that about me. You've got to learn that I love blueberries. And then some people may like that and some people may not like that. But uh, um, people build relationships with me from watching these videos. So if you're watching this video and you have a business, I would suggest even if you just serve your community is to get out there and start making TikTok videos or YouTube videos or something like that. The beginning is very, very hard. It's extremely intimidating. But uh, after a while, like I said, it took me 100 videos, which was probably about two years, three years before I started to feel a little bit comfortable. In fact, even today, 
before I do a video, I have to sing for about a half hour. I have to sing for about a half hour because I, I still get, I still get where my fo where my throat gets tight. You know, it, it gets it gets tight from uh, getting a little bit nervous. But in the beginning, it was awful. But now, as you can see, it's not it's not that bad, right? So I hope this video helped you, and I'll. I'm really glad that I got to tell my friend Darren that I loved him. Right? Maybe that was the most important thing. Maybe that was the most important thing today. Is that you tell somebody that you love them. All right, guys. Have a good day.